A milestone for a NASA astronaut, a plan for the future of the space station, and moving a step closer to an historic mission to the station. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. February 3rd was NASA astronaut Mark Vandehei's 300th consecutive day living and working aboard the International Space Station. In September 2021, about five months into his stay aboard the space station, Vandehei's mission was extended to March 2022. That puts him on track to hold the new American record for the longest single spaceflight by an astronaut by the time he returns to Earth in late March. In response to congressional direction, NASA has provided an updated International Space Station Transition Report that details the goals for station operations over the next decade that will lead to a smooth transition to commercial services, the steps being taken to develop both the supply and demand side of a commercial economy in low Earth orbit, and the technical steps and budget required for the transition. The Biden-Harris administration recently made a commitment to extend space station operations until 2030. We and our international partners have approved the crew members for the first private astronaut mission to the space station. Axiom Space's Axiom Mission 1, or AX-1, is targeted for launch to the station March 30th from our Kennedy Space Center on SpaceX's Crew Dragon Endeavour spacecraft. Former NASA astronaut Michael Lopez Alegria will serve as the commander of the four-person multinational crew, which is scheduled to spend eight days aboard the orbiting outpost conducting science, education, and commercial activities before returning to Earth. NASA has updated the schedule to move the combined Space Launch System rocket and Orion spacecraft out of the Vehicle Assembly Building, or VAB, to the launch pad at our Kennedy Space Center for testing to no earlier than March 2022. The agency has added additional time to complete closeout activities inside the VAB before rolling the integrated rocket and spacecraft out for the first time. Teams are not working any major issues but are taking operations a step at a time to ensure the integrated system is ready to safely launch on the Artemis 1 mission. NASA is reviewing potential launch opportunities in April and May. We successfully completed the final inflation test with the Bernard Cutter Low Earth Orbit Flight Test of an Inflatable Decelerator or Lofted. The NASA technology, which could one day help land humans on Mars, is scheduled to launch with a polar orbiting satellite no earlier than fall 2022. Once in low Earth orbit, Lofted will separate from the satellite and descend back to Earth to demonstrate that the inflatable aeroshell shell or heat shield can slow down and survive re-entry. The demonstration will conclude with a splash landing in the Pacific Ocean. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov.